Hi, my name is Samantha and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be making a Barbie dress. Let's get into it. Today we are going to be making a Barbie dress because my boyfriend and I are going to see the Barbie movie and obviously I need to dress the part. So I pulled out all of my pink fabrics. I've got this plaid fabric, uh, this cherry blossom print, this is a solid pink, this is another solid pink, and then this one is a pattern pink that matches this one. I think I'm going to go with this one uh, because this is my least favorite fabric and this is my first attempt making this dress. I'm kind of using a pattern, kind of not. And um, there's not enough of this fabric to do the entire dress, so that's why I pulled this fabric. I do want to make a second one of these dresses, um, like a second attempt, and I'm hoping that that will be even better. If I can make two in one day, that's what we're going to do. Um, I would like the ideal dress to be with this cherry blossom. However, um, I want to use my lesser favorite fabric for my first attempt in case there's anything wrong with it. So what I did is I have um, a very simple dress here. I like this dress. Um, it's very nice to wear. It's easy to wear. You know, it's got a t-shirt top and then just a simple bottom with a uh, cinched waist here. Um, and then what I also did is I took my favorite t-shirt. So I love a v-neck. So I took this t-shirt uh, right here with the v-neck and I went ahead and I just traced it on a piece of paper. So this is the front and then this is the back. So the back is different on the top, as you can see. And then I added a half inch seam allowance and I cut it out. And this is on the fold. So this is going to be the top and then the bottom is just going to be a rectangle. That is my plan. Hopefully I can knock out the first one pretty fast so that we can get to the second attempt. Um, Cause like I said, I'm not sure how good it's gonna turn out the first time. Um, I was trying to straighten up the edges and stuff and I don't know if this is a good idea for this to be like a right angle, but we're going to try it out. I'm going to lay the pattern pieces out, cut out the fabric, sew it together, and we'll see how it goes. Here's the top pieces laid out on the fabric. So I've got it on the fold here. I'm going to go ahead and mark it and then cut the two pieces out. Here are the pieces cut out. So now I'm going to put them right sides together and sew like the armholes as well as the shoulder seams. We'll try it on and see how it looks. Right now this is just like a top and then we'll go from there. Okay, these armholes are not matching up. So I'm just going to put it down this way and I'm just going to have them match up because they do need to match up. So I can tell you there's already an issue with the pattern, but that's okay. Here is the top sewn. So we got the shoulders and the sides. Let's flip it right side out. It does resemble a shirt, so that's good. Let me try it on. Let's see if I can just put it on top of the shirt. If it doesn't fit, then we've got an issue. Okay, it's really weird. Oh my goodness. Okay, it is way too tight. Oh my goodness. This is not going to work. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and seam rip this and we need to, we need to add a lot. <laughs> this is not going to work, but that's okay. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm not going to mess with the, um, I'm not going to mess with the V. I'm not going to mess with the shoulders. I'm just going to take out the, um, sides and we need to add extra fabric. So, uh, yeah, let me do that. Or you know what? I wonder if I just add it on the back, if I just like cut it open. Let me think about this. I went ahead and added a panel to the back. I just sliced it right down the middle and added a panel. I don't know if this is gonna fix it or not. I don't think it's gonna solve the armhole problem because the armholes didn't seem big enough, but let's see. Okay, well I can get it on better now. It's still not big enough, but oh my God. Okay, this is why we do test trials because this is still not working. But the armholes still aren't big enough. So I need to seam rip. I don't know how you add fabric over here. Um, I guess I just like add it more this way. I don't know, but this still isn't big enough, which is frustrating because I literally measured it against a shirt that I wear. But okay, I'm gonna seam rip the sides and we're gonna add some more fabric. 
and we'll go from there. <laughs> I went ahead and added two panels on the side here. I seam ripped and added panels to the side. I don't know if this is going to work or not. We're kind of just like going with the flow here. Okay, it feels bigger. I still don't think the armhole is big enough. Okay, but it's actually fitting, so that's better. Okay, but now I added like weird extra fabric. Okay, but this is better. We can work with this. We are going to work with this and we are gonna go from here. The next step I'm going to add on the skirt. I feel like I added too much fabric here. Um, I think I just needed to do a straight panel is what I needed to do. Uh, let me, let me fix this and I don't know, it feels better, but it's, yeah, I, I think I should have just added a straight panel. I shouldn't have done this like triangle thing. Okay. Let me try this again. Inside here, I just sewed a straight line. So hopefully this, yeah, now it's like a straight panel. Let's try this on one more time. Okay. That's better. This is still not ideal, I don't think, but this is much better. We are going to work on the skirt now. For the skirt, I'm just doing it 21 inches long. So that's this one big piece of fabric. And then this was the remaining fabric that I just cut that I'm gonna to add to the side. And then we'll just gather this to meet the waist of the top is the idea here. Now that I've got a big long panel, I went ahead and did a five inch, or five, um, the stitch length was a 5.0 and I left a big tail end on each end. So now I'm just going to pull on these strings very gently and gather so that the skirt will become the same size as the waistband. Now that the gathers are the same size as the top, we can attach the two pieces together. I've got the two pieces pinned together. They are right sides together. So here is the right side of the top, right side of the skirt, and they are just pinned all the way around. Um, right here is where the two pieces touch. I made sure that there's enough fabric where they can touch. I'm gonna sew to about right here so that in the next step, I can sew the two panels together and then attach it to the top. So if that wasn't clear, what I'm gonna do is sew all the way around here to hold the skirt to the top. Here is the um, top sewn to the bottom. It's not all the way connected and it's not connected on the sides, but let's try it on. Turn it right side out. Ah! Oh! It looks like a dress. That's so exciting. Okay, let me try it on real quick. Okay. Not bad for a first attempt. Not bad. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and sew this together and then sew this little opening shut. And then we're gonna go ahead and finish off all of the raw edges. Here is the dress with every raw edge surged. Now I'm just going to take um, all of these and fold them over. Um, I'm not sure if I wanna do once or twice. I'm thinking just once so that it doesn't add too much bulk. And I'm gonna top stitch um, both the neckline as well as the armholes and then for the bottom as well. Um, the bottom I will probably do two, but the other ones I'm only gonna do one and do a top stitch, and then we have one last piece to do. I went ahead and finished the edges like I said, and the last thing, what does this thing need? Let me know in the comments down below. It needs pockets! So, I got two pockets right here. I went ahead and surged them all around, so then I'm just going to uh, fold over all the edges and then fold over the top twice, stitch it down, uh, or just fold over the top once, stitch it down, and then we'll attach it on the remaining sides. I'm going to put the pockets like right here is my plan. And I did them with this so there'd be a little contrast. I thought that'd be cute. So let me get these pockets on and then we'll do a final reveal. Here is the dress all sewn up. Let me put it on and show you what it looks like. Here is what it looks like. It is too large around here. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to sew some elastic 
into the waistband right here and that should help cinch the waist some. So let me do that real quick and then I'll try it back on. Here is the elastic. I just went ahead and stitched it as close as I could to the um, seam between the top and the bottom. And um, we'll, let me turn this right side out, try it on and see how it looks. Here is the dress cinched. I think that looks so much better with the elastic. I think even adding a belt would um, finish it off. I love the pockets. Let me flip you so you can see the whole thing. Here is the full dress. I think it's super cute. I actually wasn't expecting to like this one as much, but I actually really like how it turned out. Granted, there's a lot of errors all over the place because, you know, we were trying out new things and trying to make something new and I didn't make the pockets big enough for my phone, which is really frustrating. But that being said, I whipped this up today and now I have something appropriate to wear to the Barbie movie. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and have a wonderful day.